tank. <laughs> you know, you step in the you step in the mall, and everybody asks you what you want, what you need. I just want to. I just want a pair of shoes. I just want a nice pair of shoes. Tell them the truth. All right, y'all want the truth? Yes. Canelo's gonna win the fifth round. Body shots. Go ahead. How do you feel about B-Boy holding them out? That I just think that Canelo right now is at a level because of the the Triple G fight, because the motivation of the last month, and I believe everybody know what that is. And it's not just tied in as the most lucrative in the boxing contract in sports. That's huge. You mean sports? Yeah, football, basketball, golf, hockey, tennis, baccarat, NASCAR, right? Sports, Rugby. Yeah. I mean, Kentucky, you know, that's, we're talking about historic on two ends. I just gave you the first one. The second one is now that Canelo has an opportunity to start padding his legacy in a middleweight division, possibly super middleweight division. This is a super middleweight championship. Closing out the year, it's been a blessed year for Canelo. To me, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit. Everything has been set up promotional-wise for Canelo now to become great. Not there yet. To become great, you got to do great things, and you got to be doing great things frequently going into 2019. And now he has, as we reported, and as you, I believe, reported also, has a lot of reasons to smile and be motivated, right? Right? It's called the zone. We have, you've already predicted a fifth round knockout by body shot, so looking forward, who are some of the champions at 160? I want to see him fight David Lemieux. Okay. In Canada, or New York. You know, there's a lot of Canadians here. It's a melting pot here, right? I'm right up the street. I'm in Philadelphia. I jogged here. Mm. I literally, you know, jogged. I took a car too, but I, I jogged halfway and I got to, you know, the better 40 minutes away from Philly, tri-state area. You got Canadians up the street. I mean, come on. I would like to see him fight David Lemieux. I think that David earned it. I think David is a threat to anybody in the middleweight division just because if you looked at the last fight in this same position under the undercard, the only thing I've seen is both actions, and next day I know the lights was turned out. And when the lights turn out, either you're going to fill the wall to see if you can find a light switch, or you're going to be counted out. And David Lemieux moved on to do what? To make a clear message. He's ready. He's ready. And last time I spoke to him and talked to him, he wanted now, not tomorrow, now. And so he get a chance, he get a chance, December 15th, this Saturday, at the legendary, historic brand.